Forced I can't on that force stack, but yeah. I don't see a bracket for it right there. No, I don't. Never have. Right here. This auction, there was a lot of stuff that you bought in boxes. The What was in the box may have been a surprise. So this is our first round of going through the boxes, seeing what we might keep, seeing what might be questionable. So the haul that I'm going to show you actually is going to be when the items are cleaned up and I have gone through multiple times of what I think I see value in and what I think I'm, we are going to be keeping to resell. So I guess we'll just start right off here. So the first lot wasn't all purchased as a lot. These were a whole bunch of the hanging oil lamps, the vintage metal pieces that people would use to hang their oil lamps from. And we have actually been reselling them on eBay. So one by one, and then some of the boxes that we purchased were some of these. And, and then a couple, well, I guess there's three, three coffee grinders. Oh my gosh. I absolutely love these that have that detail. These are in pristine for the age of them condition. This one is just as nice, just not as much detail. And I thought this little guy was unique because he actually had a porcelain ceramic little top. So, and no chips or anything. So I was excited about that. Um, in some of the lots, we did get some oil lamps. We got those cleaned up. So if somebody's interested in that, this is missing maybe something. I'm not sure. Sometimes people need pieces and parts. And then look at this lot. I can't believe. So these spiky flower frogs were all in one lot. This was in another box that I was bidding on. And the glass one was in another box. Um... So yeah, now I've actually got quite a few flower frogs. So I did pop the green pair on eBay. I had a viewer ask, they're still on eBay. So I might pop a couple more sets if anybody's interested and put some more in my booth. And then I absolutely loved these. Now I purchased these two first, I believe. No, yes, purchased these two first. Um, Love this. This has that nice green patina. Oh, look at that. Is that not gorgeous? And then this one I thought was just as cute as a button. And I thought it was unique because it had that lip on it. And then we, when we came down on the auction, there was this one. <laughs> so there's actually a tile that sits in it. I don't think I'm going to worry about trying to match it. They're old scales. I love the blue. You know, usually I would be rusty, crusty, black or brown, a little bit of red, but the blue and the green especially, absolutely love it. Um, picked up this metal recipe box, so I'm super excited to make that over. And then we have not figured out if this is just silver plated or if this is anything, so we have to look that up yet. And I thought this was just a random piece of wood but it's actually a piece of marble. <laughs> so it is super heavy. I don't know what the story of what it would have gone on. And I really don't know why I brought it home with me, but I'll find a use for it somehow. Now, Chris saw this storage box and he'd like, he has some arrowheads that he would like to display um, and some small knives and stuff. So he got this, I think $5, I can't remember. You're buying in a box of lots, so as before, I'll try to figure out if I can give you a total or not. Um, and then this was just some random pieces. Look at these. I cannot believe how well these little guys cleaned up. Oh my gosh, they were just a hot mess. I showed you some of the blue pieces, but yeah, so a pair of little Fenton playing children. This is actually, surprisingly, a false graph piece. I expected it to be Roseville or Hall, but it wasn't. And then look at this. It's a dragon. Um, 1940s is what it came up. There's no chips or anything. 
Um, yeah, so I don't know if I'm going to resell that or I'm going to do some goodie bags for our Black Friday sale at the booth. So I thought, you know, some $5 to figure out what to do with all the small items that just kind of sit around. Now, these are just some Santas that are glass. Let's see, there we go. There's some Santa. And then this one's a little, got a little bit more weight to it. So this one says 1979. So I don't know too much about those. And we've got a little glass shoe and some beautiful hat pins. Oh my gosh, look at those. These are something I'm probably going to put on eBay. I'm looking to get a glass storage box for my one of my booths that locks and is lighted. So I have not made the decision to buy the one from Ikea yet. This I thought was just too sweet just to redonate. And along with these little black, um, brass slippers, little Chinese slippers. I don't know if it's an ashtray because it has that on there or not. One has more color than the other. And I loved these. These were actually a pair. Oh, I have a couple. I have one in my set. I love that these had the numbers. I love that they have some metal on them. I'll probably keep them myself. Now, this is an odd find because our friend that was working the auction, he said, hey, look this up. These go for some money if it's the right one. Well, it's not the two and a half, but this is the 7C um, little mouthpiece. And so I did look it up and this it sells all day long for about 40 bucks. So that paid for at least two of our boxes that we put, at least two of the boxes, if not more. So yes, that sells all day long because that was a great find. I just like the age of this crystal. It's not heavy, but I like the age of that tin on there, the metal on there. Like I said, it's not super heavy. Um, these seem to be a little bit newer. They have that Norleans, Norleans, is that what it's called? Let me see if I can focus. You, know, you never can get things to focus when you want them to set. So I wasn't sure what I was going to do with those. And then I thought, well, I better hoard on to these if I ever run across um, a decanter. Yeah, there's the word. A decanter that is looking for a stopper. They might fit. So I'll keep those. And then these little metal guys, I probably, I don't, I'll probably, re I probably will resell these because um, they are just too sweet. Look at them. I like the aged metal. They are metal. They are made... Why did not it ever focus? Made in India. Sorry that it won't focus there, but I know a lot of the brass and metal seems to be made in India. And then we got this cute little, I think he must be a candle holder, but look at the pig. Oh, he's not, he's not the cutest pig, but he's a pig and he's funny. <laughs> Plain and simply, he's funny. Oh, and then there's this. This I saved out. This is actually a lipstick holder. Um, gold plated. I don't know, I was confused. There was a few that were on and they sold for between $14 and $40. I guess it depends on when you uh, when you put them on. But they, yes, they were vintage and they would hold your lipstick. So two little cherubs. So I will resell that little piece on eBay. So now where do I show you? The glass or the Rusty crusty? <laughs> okay, so let's start off with the glass. Um, I'm still doing some whatnot. I've kind of gone, I skipped a week. Um, I'll get back on it. I'm going to get that store. I'm going to get a display unit for my booth so I can, because I just, now that I've started picking up glassware, I can't stop picking up glassware. I just absolutely love it. This has to be the best hen on a nest in the white version, the milk glass version I've ever seen. Usually that paint is really chippy. This one is pristine. You all would not believe how dirty all these are. If, it, if you really studied those boxes at our beginning, it was so so dirty so and then there was this cute little cat the cat does have a chip on one of these little pieces but i i don't think that if you're just displaying right here yeah i remember feeling that's the thing about washing up everything you can feel um a sharp spot so i think there's a little chip there but the rest is beautiful i love that i found another handkerchief hobnail piece now remember before 1977 
they would do stickers. And then after like the 1977 or somewhere in that era, they started to do the stamping in the glass because they realized people were taking the tags off. So that this one does say Fenton. I'm not sure on the exact date. And then this one is still a Fenton piece, but it just doesn't have a sticker or the imprint on there. So this is gorgeous. As oh, I look like I can do a little bit more cleaning. Oh my gosh, they were so dirty. There's still a little cleaning that here and there as it's drying. But that's just a beautiful, I think that's a silver crest piece. I'm trying to remember. I'm not sure. We haven't looked up this light, but both globes were there. It works. They were not chipped or broken or anything because we did have a lot of those that were chipped. <laughs> so we ended up just donating them in case somebody wanted to complete their set. There's another piece of silver crest, I believe it's called. I could be wrong. Um, this is an Avon bird on a nest. Um, but I, it's cute. It's nice. It's resellable. I've sold two of those so far. Um, this is an Avon piece. I don't really know what it goes to. Um, so I just kind of hoarded onto it. I like this little milk glass. It almost reminds me of a cold cream because there's no, it's just milk glass. It's got that age of that metal. I have not looked at this one up, Raleigh's, because I knew I was just going to keep it. Then we have a clear glass bird. This one um, is not marked. You would think that's a chip. Oh, that is chipped. Oh, poop. I as it was drying. <laughs> sorry for sorry for that. Yes, this one is chipped, so I'll donate that one. Unfortunately, I try not to do too much. I mean, that's pretty obvious, I think. And it's clear glass, so people don't usually care about clear glass too much. Um, this may be a Westmoreland piece. I don't know. I did not look that one up. This was in a box, and it was brown as could be. <laughs> but it cleaned up, so it's a Fenton Custer. And then these were gorgeous. Yes, these are all glowy. All glowy, all glowy, all glowy, all day long. So... This probably should have had a base, I'm thinking. Oh, don't drop it. And I only kept it because of the owl. So I thought, you know, with the owl, I know it should have had a base, but it doesn't have any chips or cracks. And if you're a glowy person, I think it would be, it would be okay. If somebody wants to buy it or not, or it just will sit around. And then we have another glowy, a glowy custard Fenton bird. Um, does look like there's a little chip, oh, does look like there's a little chip right there, oh, darn it. It's so hard to tell under the layer of dirt and then when you're washing it until it completely dries, so there is a little, a little chip there, that's sad. Always something, and this one, oh my gosh, I knew that this was a Fenton bunny, but they had glued <laughs> eyes onto it, put felt on the bottom, so I... Tried my best to get that felt off and took the sticky eyes off of this poor little bunny. Like, oh, and yuck. And then I, this is, I believe, is a snow bunny, snow baby. Um, so it's a little, little bunny, little baby in a bunny suit with a little goose and another little egg down there. That was sweet. I don't know if it's an original or not. After, my next step after videoing for you all is pricing everything. So, so I still have to look up some of the other glass to see if it's anything. Or I do about half when I'm cleaning them up. So we got some fairy lights though. These are the smaller version. Um, that one cleaned up. <laughs> I could not believe that that came as clean as it did. One of these does say Fenton on it. Yeah, this one, the amber one does say the Fenton stamp on. So that one's a little bit on the newer side. And then these were weird. These were Avon, but they remind me of slag glass. Little booties. And there was three. Um, so we'll see their Avon pin cushion. So I thought I'd see if I could sell those as a lot on eBay, see if anybody was interested. Um, this is a globe. There is a chip somewhere. I felt something somewhere. It might have been on the bottom. But I'll do minimum if somebody's interested in the blue. And then we had a beautiful hen other nest in that amberina color. And again, the rooster, which glows. I'll have to come back with the light and show you that it glows. We got a turkey. I don't know if I'm too late in the season for turkey now, but I'll pour it onto him. And look at the fingers, the five fingers on this beauty. Oh, actually the pin, hat pins were in that. 
Let's see, what else do we have? Some paperweights. This has a cute fish in it. It's a dolphin with some fish in there. A little coral wreath going on there. We got another Fenton piece. Newer. Just got a paper tag. A bunny with some bubbles. Bubble bunny. It's a bubble bunny. <laughs> and then another little bubble paperweight. This one, at first, I thought when I was washing it up was a... Uh, creamer, but it's not. It's actually like a little planter or oops, or it came up like a soap, like a sponge holder. Well, I don't know. <laughs> and then this one was a three set, some little birds on a, or birds of happiness. And this is a Leo Ward 2001 piece. And all three of these um, were a set. Look at the little baby one. Oh, I never saw that. And then this is a, a hair receptor. I'm learning. Uh, Kind of grosses me out as a hairdresser, but I guess if you'd comb your hair and you put your hair out of your brush in that. That's disgusting. <laughs> I'm sorry, but somebody might think it's cool. Now this was, I was on the fence on this set. This is like a little um, nursery rhyme set. So this is Jack and, Jack and Jill went up the hill. And then we have the three little bears. And so it kind of all, I think I'm going to try to sell this as a lot on eBay. See how it goes. Um, this is some ironstone. So I will, I've sold a few pieces of ironstone and I usually just group them together um, for those ironstone lovers out there. It's a Madam Alexander dolls from McDonald's. And yes, if we group them together, we can sell those also um, on eBay. And then the bottles, we're still seeing if there's much value into the bottles. This is a little Czechoslovakian planter bird. Um, so he's got a hole so he would hang. So I'd probably pop him on eBay or may, I maybe a whatnot, I'm not sure. Um, we gotta glue this piece back together, do some little epoxy glue, um, but that's that nice stone material. Uh, this is a cool bottle. It is stamped by the maker. It came up something, but right now I can't remember um, what it was. I thought this was a unique piece. Uh, I love crockery. I know it's new. I know it had hearts on it, but I thought the coolness overruled the hearts that it was a cheese cloche. I'm like, okay, well, yeah, I liked it. So along with the little wording on this piece, this is a little hanger piece. There again, it's crockery. So yeah, I thought that was neat. I just love the age of this bowl, and I know that it was cracked, but that doesn't always bother everybody. I just like the cream and the yellow of it, and I know that this is an older version, so I just did get that. Um, this was in the Christmas lot, so it is a salt glaze Santa. Um, it is signed, so I've actually bought and sold another one of those. Now, this is a newer piece of crockery, but I love that it had the lid. It's in good condition. It's got a cow on it. I've resold similar with animals on there. Um, this was a beautiful salt glazed crock with a, with a cork along with this piece and along with that piece. It was funny because they started off the auction selling crocks right off the bat, and then they always go so high. So I always wait till there's random crocs throughout the auction that I can then I can afford one. It's like people will spend their money right off the bat and buy spend way too much on crocs. I don't even see any resale of it. Now I picked this bowl up only because I do have a couple others. And then along with that crockery bowl too, I thought, oh, I love the age of those bowls. I like to have those on the hand. Now this was a cute little find. A lidded, preserved little crockery. I don't know the age of that, but it's in great condition. It got some pottery. This is an inkwell, I think. This is a little pottery piece that has been stamped with the person's signature. Oh, where's my bunny lovers? Look at this handmade piece along with that little dish. I believe it's not the same maker either. So this one, I think, says peace. Oh, maybe. So she wrote, or... No, I think that might say pearl. Let's, let's go back and look. Uh, maybe that one says pearl too. 
Maybe this one says pearl also. So pearl in like a marker or something and then pearl in I wrote in in there. So it's that similar. Little bean pot. Two-tone usually doesn't do so well for us. I wish this would have the lid, but I thought it is in a great condition. Salt crock. It's got butterflies on it. So I've actually sold um, a couple of these on eBay and a couple of them in my booth. Um, I liked this bean pot a little bit better. Uh, that's not the original lid. You can tell You can tell that's not the original lid. Um, but I like when it has wording on it. I think that's a spittoon. This is a piece of pottery, a little craft, 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 you know, for juice or liquid. Um, I cannot read that. I thought it was a neat piece, though. Very well done piece. So this is a liquor bottle, but, you know, it's about that wording. So it's got to have wording. And there again, I waited to random finds throughout the auction to be able to afford it. This is a neat spongeware pattern, the brown and black. Um, we got some brass, some brass pieces. This little lantern I thought was neat. Another little brass piece. Um, I actually have a set of these birds in my decor that I actually painted white, but I love the age of how these aged. This is a cool scale. Um, I don't know if it's missing pieces or parts, but I thought it is heavy. We've got some random metal, some matchsticks, some praying hands for your candle, a little shoe. This, I have to show you this. We all at the auction were amazed by this, and I don't even know how this ended up in my lot. It's a whole bunch of tweezers. Like, how many pairs of tweezers does a person need? And then they're all in the same place. But yeah, I don't even know what that probably would have hold, held. And I didn't, I didn't even, I didn't even bid on it. So it must not have got bid on, and it must have got put in the box that I that we brought home with us. Um, this is a ball of twine container. I did not find the hanger. It probably has something that was supposed to hang from. I thought I got it and then I didn't. I guess it wasn't what I thought it was. Some copper pieces, a ladle, a teacup, a teapot. Oh, I thought this was a nice, neat little piece. I love these little tin hangers. Oh, I absolutely love those. You can this one you can have you need only to hang and that one to just sit that roses are beautiful. A couple of this look at that. This is I like the age of this. I mean we're trying to match this as us crafters. Um and then this one says something also. This one's a little bit harder, but I think if I spray it with that rust, um that what is it called? The product that I use. I think it'll bring out those lettering a little bit, the one that preserves the rust, but it'll richen the, that lettering up. Look at this little handmade mushroom. I will pop him on with a little snail. I'll pop him on eBay. I thought he was sweet. Just some other random pieces and parts. I don't know anything about this little Japanese drawing piece. I just thought it was nicely done. Um, I don't know if I, I need to take it apart though and get that leveled back out. Okay, our last table. Oh, holy, holy wood. <laughs> they had a lot of wood. So if you didn't walk away with it at this auction without some wood, you weren't looking for wood. So yes, we got two lock, lot boxes full of wood. So half of these mashers were in there. Um, a lot of these butter scoops. Um, some of them were randomly bid on. I, you know, I grabbed this one on one thing. This is neat. I thought this was really neat. So you'd hang stuff from it. Um, I'm not sure how you hang it though. <laughs> you know, like how would that hang? This hang, but how did that hang? Anyway. Oh yes. And then I don't know what was going on, but in random boxes, I did get a couple butter molds, and then I bid on a couple butter molds. Um, it's funny, I went from not ever finding butter molds to now having a whole bunch. I popped one on eBay, but nobody seemed to be interested, in, so I'll probably just change it to a buy it now. Um, so yeah, you, know, you just never know. You never know, but I'm happy to find it. Uh, I gotta look this up, because I'm not sure exactly, is this a rolling pin? Is this a pasta maker? 
or is it for kite string? <laughs> I don't know, but it got quite a few rolling pins that I can actually do some crafts with because some of them are not too vintage. These little guys always seem to do real well. This one needs to be tightened. Look at that 1980s color screaming with the apples and the hearts. And I thought if you are a collector of this type of cookie a roller, that would be great in your collection. There's some cutters. These are the juicer things, but if you want to add some wood accent. And can I tell you how much people were paying for cookie cutters at this auction and have been? I watched some ladies fight over some cookie cutters, and it went to $25 for like five or six of them. I'm like, are you kidding me? So I got this lot at the end of the auction for three bucks. <laughs> I was like, are you kidding me, you lady? Where are you reselling cookie cutters at? And of course, it's always the handled ones that people are looking for or the ones that are aged, the biscuit cutters. This one's cool because it's a hand. Yeah, I just, I don't, I'm like, how are you reselling? Because y'all, if you're standing there in the freezing cold in the snow, you are a reseller trying to get, you're a reseller trying to get inventory. That's all I have to say about that. So, yep, I did pick up one frame. I They ended up trying to get us out of the snow. So they started grouping and grouping and grouping things together. So I did do one pick for $5 for this frame because I thought that was gorgeous and it didn't have a picture and then I would be able to redo something. I'm on the fence about what animal this is. <laughs> At first because of the tail, I thought, oh, it's a pig. But then I'm like, it's a rhino. It's a, I don't know what the heck it is. It needs, it needs a sand job. That is for sure. <laughs> so I have to work on that one. Um, I don't know if these are butter presses or I don't know what these are, but they were just, I didn't have a thing for wood. And then I picked up these little wood pieces. These would be nice for closures, for some, you know, decor if you want to use them. Lots of little wooden. There was this, um, I don't think this is a firkin. I just think it is a bucket. Um, these were neat. We had to look these up because we didn't know what these were. These lift your jars, your canning jars. So there's two of those. And we have lots of Amish that actually shop in our antique mall. So, okay. And some beautiful, oh my gosh, beautiful hand-carved wooden pieces. Just some unique wooden utensils. And then I wish this had its friend, but this is mid-century modern. It's that bake light. So I'm going to give it a better bath and um, clean it up and I'll probably just sell it on eBay separately because it's fake light. <laughs> so I'm not gonna just donate that. Um, this this whole canister set was inside here um, and they're in good condition. So I was happy to run across that. Oh, wait till for this video to come because the only way we could get a hold of the wooden bowls again were buying wooden bowls that needed to be redone. And I don't mind it. I am satisfied with the amount of pay, I don't know. I think Chris got the stack for $5. So if I redo them all, sanding them, you know, staining them, oiling them, whichever way I do it, making them food safe, making them for decor, I, I love to do it. So it's well worth my time. Uh, yeah. And then look at this firkin. He, huh, I did, I got it for $5 and I said, you know what? I know it's going to take a lot of clamps. <laughs> a lot of clamps, y'all. A lot of clamps to fix this guy. But I think the age of it, I think it's well worth it. Well worth it. And then look at this cute little nesting set of bunny eggs. Oh my, oh my goodness. Absolutely loved those. Um, just some little wedding baskets, a little spool. This just got some spools in it. Um, some wooden bookends that came up a name when I looked them up. So, and then we got some other little cubbies. The little horse, I thought, oh, he is cute. Another basket, I took the decor off the grapevine wreath. This is a whole basket of like little porcelain. Yeah, these were in their Christmas stuff. There's a whole bunch of these little porcelain Santa Clauses. So I can either sell these in the booth for a couple bucks to make the couple bucks back that we spent on the... I was hoping there were some more shiny brights, but there wasn't any shiny brights in this, this grouping. 
loved the kitty look at him in his mouse oh my goodness and then he's holding a fish oh loved him now i was surprised by this set this set is unique and it actually does resell on ebay so i probably will pop that up um love this too there's so many loves i know so this is just a little girl um it's a music box you call. so you that's how you wind it so then oh her little mushroom yeah the little i think you could interchange the pieces and parts so i have to lure a little mushroom back on and I thought she was supposed to have a glass over her, but when I looked her up, she wasn't. So then she will spin. Like I said, I gotta glue that back in there. I love that she had a mushroom. I love her friend was a squirrel. And then she will spin it out. Let's get her little face in there. Just cute. Um, this was actually a hand carved bird signed by the artist. So yeah, anybody's handmade pieces I'm going to sell. And the rest of the lot is a whole bunch of Christmas. And I will just put it in a couple baskets in my booth, sell it for a few bucks just to get it back. So y'all, if you spy anything, let me know. Um, there was some cast iron pieces. Now they're newer cast iron. They're super shiny. Um, I did bid on this one for Chris because it was only five bucks. They didn't go under five bucks at this auction. Um, and he collects Clydesdale Budweiser stuff, so. And then I thought these were, this was very cute, this little candle set. And then there's a vintage um, Christmas tree ornament there, so I'll pop that one on eBay. But other than that, I may group, do a couple groupings on eBay, but most of it will just be a few dollars in our booth. And then the last little bit is some terracotta pots that Chris picked up for me for my little display out back at our shed, <laughs> along with something we bought. I don't know. That was a, it's a watermelon placemat. I need, I need to clean it up, but I thought, ah, I kind of like it. <laughs> I kind of like it. It's not the season in Michigan right now for watermelon, but... And then we had just, this was something that was thrown in a group. It, it was a child's little rocker, but it's not broken. So we'll see if somebody wants it. If not, we'll eventually maybe donate it, but we'll see first if somebody wants it out of the booth. And then underneath, by the time you see this video, all this will already been donated, y'all. So that's why I'd rather go through it first because I know a lot of people said, well, I would have bought that or you could pop that on. You know, a lot of times it's broken. The Google Lens doesn't see anything that it is resellable. So you just have to make the decision because there's so much in the boxes. This was this person's second estate sale. It's a living estate, actually. They are still living. They just now live in a nursing home. Okay, what did you think? I couldn't really give you a total of what I thought things were going to sell for. Definitely pop onto eBay, y'all, and see what I have put up. That's probably the most I've ever listed on the eBay store, along with putting stuff in her inventory, along with items that need to be made over. It was really too hard to come up with a grand total of what we thought we were going to make because there are so many things that need made over and am I going to sell them and whatnot, the items that I have listed on eBay, putting them in our booth. I just, oh, that, yes. So yeah, our total spend was about $800. So we should at least be able to triple, if not four times our money back, if not more on this. And yes, there's a bonus to, <laughs> there's a bonus of going to an auction in the snow <laughs> that if you did not dress to, dress well or warm enough. A lot of people did not stay, but the people that were staying, they were troopers and they were willing to spend money because they are all pretty much resellers like we are. So we're all looking for items to build up our inventory and to resell. So thanks again for watching. And as always, let us know which item we found was your favorite. And don't forget to pop on to eBay to see what we have put into our eBay store if any of you are all interested on any of those items. So again, thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you next time, and you can see what we're up to. Bye!